In today's Kim's Adventure, we head out to Pretend City in Irvine, California. Pretend City is a non-profit children's museum and features 17 interactive exhibits designed as a small interconnected city. On August 30th, 2009, Pretend City opened and was awarded the Possible Dream Grant the following year. It aims to build better brains through purposeful play, hands-on learning, and most importantly, gives the little ones a chance to burn off their energy so the parents can have some time to work on their marriage. Today, we're here for their special exhibit called Dinos in the City. Explore engaging interactives with lifelike animatronic dinosaurs and exciting educational content created by the Omaha Children's Museum. Before checking out the main exhibit, we decide to wander around aimlessly. Alright, so we got our wristbands and we're ready, or at least the kids are ready, to have some fun at Pretend City. Let's see how tall Nolan is compared to its T-Rex. Wow, you're four feet, almost. That's because I take off my crocs. Yeah. Okay. We are at Trader Joe's. We're going in. Oh, they even got little shopping carts. Oh, that's your favorite, apple cider. You got four of them. Cool. Oops, sorry. Oh, and the lights are off. Uh-oh. Lights off. You got your Trader Joe uniforms, time card, clock in, clock out, and break room uh, microwave, I guess, which is locked. You can't use it. Some Trader Joe product placement at Pretend City. And oh, here's, oh, they actually have live animals here. They have little chickens. Oh, Ellie would love that. It's like they also have the cafe here where uh, parents can just take a break, get some vending machine food. The real cafe. And what is this? A house. A house? Yeah. Let's go in. Ooh, it's actually much bigger. I think I remember this the last time I was here. Ah, uh, this is a Korean person's house. These are Korean people. Look at that. That's Hangul. Hangul. Ka. You have to connect it, Dad. Ka. You have to connect it like this. Cha. This is Korean, guys. The last time we were at a children's museum, it was like a Korean exhibit. So, um. Sho. Did you remember this? Sho. And then no one's just making nonsense. And we got the sound stage here. Where the kids can control the kids can control the stage. Look! No one's a dinosaur! Woo he's a dinosaur! Tons of toys to play for kids of all ages. Alright. We're gonna go to the UPS store, and there's even a UPS truck right here. So you can be a delivery. You can be a delivery kid. All right, kid. I want to deliver this package. Do the do the thing on your computer. I'll do Amazon. Ring me up. That's it. Oh man, I'm hungry for some Korean barbecue. I want some uh, kalbi. <gasps> Ooh, Korean barbecue place. That's not bad. Fifteen dollars for short ribs. Okay, awesome. Time to cook this baby up. A pretend city. Shh. Ooh, tasty. And uh, throughout the area is a special dinosaur signs to watch out for dinosaurs. And then here we're going to the local library. It's actually a pretty legit library, it has all the books you need. I want this book. How to get a job. Here, 
Checking out this book, please. So it costs 10,000 bucks. 10,000 bucks? This is a library. It costs it's supposed to be free. All right, here. One dollar. Thank you. I guess I'm buying the book. Yeah, there's an art studio here. Oh, it actually, it's closed. But I guess they do art projects in the art studio when they are in operation. If you have some stuff you want to store away while your kids play, you can put your things here in the lockers. Okay, fire station. Got all the fire trucks here and the water play so none of this is uh, operational right now because uh, right now we're at a special media event but yeah later when things are open you'll have a whole area here for water play oh sand sand area a little sand pit oh, what about the gas station you want to go gas station you want to put some gas in the car how many dollars a gallon? Thirteen dollars of gas. That's it. It's a good deal for any uh, aspiring mechanics. They can practice their uh, mechanical abilities here. You can get under the hood of the car, or uh, actually get under the car if you wanted. I don't believe this. There's a supply shortage at Pretend City. What's going on here? It's a lot of stock. It's no spark plugs, no water pump. Almost like, what is that, like 70% of the, um, the inventory is out of stock. It's crazy. Pretend City is not, not pretend anymore. It's real. Check the oil. Good. Alternator, good. Starter, good. Put in some spark plugs. And what's this? Air filter. Good. We're all good. Checks out. Here's, here's something kind of cool. So the wheels actually come off. You can change it. You can change your tire. Dylan, go under. You can change the tire at Pretend City. There you go. And turn these. You got a new wheel. The Kim. Kim Kim Brothers Auto Center. The Kim Brother Auto Center. And here is the main attraction. Dinos in the city. You want to see some dinosaurs, Nolan? Yeah. Okay, get get the pamphlet. No. Thank you. Okay, let's go see some dinos. You guys, you can do some archaeology here. Clean up some uh, debris, uncover uh, some uh, bone here. Here, get the paintbrush, Ellie. Oh, and don't forget, get your archaeology hats going. Here, a little archaeologist right there. The animatronic T Rex. Whoa! Scary! It says it's a T Rex. I'm not sure you're supposed to touch it. Or maybe you can't. Who knows? So they give these uh, sheets out where you can uh, have the kids just kind of go through, match up the dinosaurs right there. And it gives a little questionnaire back here about how well do you know the dinosaurs. I guess they could fill that out. After the dinos in the city, we decided to check out a few more exhibits before calling it a day. So the yoga studio right here. It's a mini yoga studio. You can do some yoga. The last area of Pretend City is the health center. You got the uh, dental office, fix your teeth. Let's see if your teeth are bad. Let's see. Okay, it looks like you're, um, looks like you are growing two more teeth down there. Good job. How tall are you? Why you take off your shoes? Your but shoes. My shoes don't give me a lift. Okay. There you go. Let me go there. There. That's how tall you are. 
All right, so the kids had a great time here at Pretend City. So thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to explore the museum. Before leaving, we got one last photo op near the cool Jurassic Park Jeep. So when you come to Pretend City, every time you come, they're gonna give you one of the trading cards with uh, fun dino facts and a dinosaur on the front. We had a serious case of the munchies, so we decided to go to Marufuku Ramen. Marufuku Ramen is the Bay Area's well-known purveyor of authentic Japanese ramen, featuring a silky, smooth, 20-hour Hakata-style broth. It has opened a location in Irvine's Los Olivos Marketplace back in 2021. The key process behind Marufuku's luscious tonkatsu broth is a 20-hour cook time. In order to fully extract the umami flavor, this authentic broth is made by slow boiling pork bones. This slow cooking process results in a combination of oily broth featuring a thick milky layer of umami. Swimming in this thick Hakata style broth are specially selected ultra thin artisanal noodles. Here guests can dictate their own experience from the style of ramen to the choice of protein and even the firmness of the noodle itself. This was our very first time here, so we couldn't wait to dig in. Alright guys, so we're here after Pretensity. We're starving, so we're gonna get some Marafuku ramen. So this egg, oh, it's runny inside, yeah, right there. I tried the egg. Mmm, it's salted. That egg tastes good, a salted egg. And now let's taste the karaage chicken. Good. Not too crispy. Soft. The brain tastes really good. The texture of these noodles are just right. Very firm, just the way I like it. Mm. No one ate all of the chicken in this bowl. He only left rice left. So then we made some ramen porridge. Take the broth and then put it in the rice. All right, let's see how my ramen porridge tastes. Mm. That's a good way. Finish up your rice. That's it. There you go. You gotta finish the whole bowl. Broth and everything. So I'm almost done with the Hakata ramen. And this this broth is a lot lighter than the other one, the spicy one. Very creamy. The other one was thick. Creamy and light. Alright guys. So we just finished Marufuku ramen. It was pretty decent. Delicious, the kids loved it. If you're in the Irvine area and you're hungry for ramen, definitely recommend checking it out. Portion size is not that big, but you can always get the extra noodles. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, here's some more suggestions. And as always, please like, subscribe, and press the bell for notifications. And I'll see you on the next Kim's Adventure.